What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to talk about the scheduler in Laravel. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on pushing content? Well, you can support the channel through Patreon. You'll get some awesome benefits such as a private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out. So if you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. Laravel scheduler is something you'll see quite often built into web applications on the web, even if you're not aware of it. There's a big possibility that in web development, certain tasks needs to be done regularly. Let's imagine an e-commerce for a second where you get new discounts on, let's say, every Friday of the week. Do you want to send product discounts manually, or do you want to run a scheduler that does it on a certain time on a certain day in the week? It's pretty repetitive if you do it yourself, right? It costs so much time to do it before the day starts on every Friday of the week. It's obviously something that you can do when you have a new e-commerce store, but it might get annoying after quite a while. You might have heard the term cron job before, which is a tool that a lot of developers had to write themselves back in the days, and actually even up until this point, to be honest. With Laravel Scheduler, you can make tasks like I mentioned super simple. You basically have to write your task in code, define the time frame, run an artisan command, and you're done. I want to showcase this in the best possible way and therefore we do need to create a new artist command that we can run in order to run our scheduler. So let's navigate to the CLI and in here let's perform php artisan or php artisan list. You'll find a complete list of all available artisan commands that we have in the project. And if we scroll up to the make section right here. You will find an option right here, which is the third one, called make colon command, which will create a new artisan command for you. So let's do that. Let's say php artisan make colon command with a new class or file name called daily message. And what this eventually will do is basically sending a new message on a daily basis to a client. Let's hit enter. The command that we just performed create a new class called daily message. If we navigate back to Visual Studio Code, Inside the app folder, console folder, there is a folder called commands with a file called daily message. Now I won't go over the namespace, use statement and class, but the most important thing right here is the property called signature. Now this will eventually be the terminal command that we need to perform in order to run our scheduler. So let's keep it related to the class name. Let's change it to message colon daily. Let's also change the description to, let's say, artisan command to send daily messages. Save it. If we navigate back to the CLI, hit the arrow up twice to run PHP artisan list. Scroll up to the command, which starts with the letter M of message. Right here, you can find it. It even has its own header of message. So we basically created a new command called message colon daily, which is an artisan command to send daily messages. Now, if we run it right now, let's actually do it. So PHP artisan message colon daily. You'll see that nothing will happen because we haven't defined anything inside the command. This is actually pretty good because it should return nothing since if we navigate back to Visual Studio Code, Scroll down to the handle method where the actual magic happens with our scheduler. You'll see that it's returning zero. Whenever you want to perform some kind of magic with your artisan command, you got to use the handle method defined at the bottom of the command. So let's get rid of it. And I want to start off pretty simple. So let's echo out a piece of text of this is my first basic scheduler. Save it. Navigate back to Visual Studio Code. Hit the arrow up. Run it again. And as you can see, this is my first basic scheduler has been printed out. Now we still haven't interacted with the scheduler, right? At this moment, we haven't used our scheduler yet because it's only being printed out once. What we need to do is to set up the right command that we'd like to schedule inside the kernel.php file of the console folder. So let's open it. Scroll down to the schedule method right here. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed hosting platform for your applications. Cloudways has enabled businesses to scale and reach new milestones instead of worrying about server hassles. With reliable 24-7 support, Cloudways offers complete peace of mind from server-level nightmares. Furthermore, its superior tools and works enhance your productivity so you can focus on creating incredible experiences with your applications. It's a fast-managed solution for agencies, SMBs, and e-commerce businesses. 
What I personally like about Cladways is their slogan, moving dreams forward. You should be able to see a protected function called schedule right here with a line commented. What we need to do is to inject our command inside the command method. So let's uncomment it first. All right. Inside the command method, we're basically going to pass in a string of the command that we want to schedule. And obviously it will be message colon daily. Now here comes the most important part of our scheduler. What we're going to do right now is to schedule them so that Laravel keeps track of time passing and evaluates whether it's time to run it again or not. At the moment, you'll see that a hourly method is being called right here. But there is a complete list of timeframes that we can use right here. So let's go over them real quick. You can see that there are a lot of commands that we have right here and I got four more screens that we can cover. We can run a scheduler every minute, every five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or even every hour like we just saw in the example code. But we could also run it daily, so it will be run at midnight on a daily basis. You could also set a time, so if you don't want to run it on midnight, you could basically say, well, run it daily at 10 p.m. Instead of saying that you want to run it daily on a midnight, we could also add a param, which will be the time. So we will run daily on a specific time. You could also do it twice on a day, which accepts two params of the times. We can run it weekly, weekly on a specific day and time, once a month, and you can specify which day of the month as well. Now, besides that, you can run it quarterly, so every three months, yearly, so every midnight of the 1st of January. We have a when and skip method, which accepts both a closure, which will limit the task when the closure returns true or false. You can run it daily between a certain time, so let's say between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m., but you could also limit it, so let's say that you don't want to run it between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. You can say that you only want to run a command on weekdays, so no Saturday and Sunday, but you can also specify the days, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Let's change our method name to every minute instead of every hour, so every minute. So our echo will be printed out every minute instead of every hour. At the moment, the scheduler does not know where or how it should echo out a task that we got inside our artisan command. So there are three different options on how you could output a task to a file. So what we could do is to align it on the line below, chain another method right here called append output to. This method accepts one parameter, which will be the location. So let's say that we want to output our artisan command to the scheduler.log file. This will add a new file inside the root of our directory and it will append the output, so the echo that we got, every minute into the scheduler. So there's one more thing left and that's telling the scheduler that it needs to do its job. So let's open the CLI right inside Visual Studio Code. And in here, let's perform PHP artisan schedule colon work. Hit enter. So as you could see, it has executed our command once. So we need to wait one more minute. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna tell you about the other two methods that we can use to output tasks. Instead of using the append output to, we could also use the send output method as well. What this will do is only print the echo out once and the append output will print it out every single time the scheduler is being called. So let me open the scheduler.log file. As you can see, this is my first basic scheduler has been printed out and let's wait until the second iteration. Our second execution has been performed as well. And this is the first basic scheduler has been printed out twice right now. So let me quit it off by pressing Control Z inside the terminal. All right, and let me remove the text that we got right here, close it off. Now there's one more thing that I need to show you since you might work with different continents than let's say your future client and running a scheduler will have a different time for you than for your client. For that, we can define a default time zone. Now this can be done by chaining another method in the schedule method of our kernel, so right here. But the best way to do this is to create a separate method of the kernel. I'm living in the Netherlands, and if I run my scheduler, it will run it in the European time zone. But let's say that my client works in Chicago. So what we could do is to go right below our schedule method, create a new public function called schedule time zone. And what we're going to do right here is to say return a new time zone of America forward slash Chicago. Right now, 
all of our scheduled times will be defined in American time zone. And this is easy if you want to schedule something at midnight. Now this was it for this video where I showed you how you could easily schedule certain tasks in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.